Welcome back everyone to another Marvel Contest of Champions episode and today in today's episode I'm going to be doing kind of a little update on stuff that's changed on my, on my uh, account here and what I've been doing the last couple days uh, as well as possibly toward the end there might be some uh, Alliance War gameplay. I'm waiting to hear back from a couple one of my Alliance members or anyone that wants to take the middle path with me so we can just kind of knock that out early on. Um, so stick around and see if that's in the end. I'm not sure yet. Depends. Um, my Alliance members, we all live in, most of us live in different time zones. So at least I, I do. I live in a different time zone than most of them, I should say. Um, so not a lot of them are awake at this time. So we'll see what happens, but that might be at the end. Um, but, but while I'm waiting to hear back from that, I figured I might as well do a quick kind of run through on my account to show you guys what's changed since I started this, since I started recording videos, because actually quite a bit has. Um, so first off, if you saw the last episode, you saw that I got a character that I've been asking for every episode and just begging to get, <clears throat> and that is the four star Star Lord, which I will pull up right here. He is right there and as you can see I haven't even touched him yet I haven't upgraded him one reason being because I'm waiting to uh, wait for their wait until there's a tech advancement period and two he's really not very useful until he's duplicated which brings me to my next point I do have a four star awakening gem for a tech champion and I haven't used it yet and a lot of you might be looking like captain why haven't you used it yet why haven't you used it like there's no other champion to use it for the reason I haven't is because of a recent mail that came out the other day that Kabam sent out. Let's see if I can find it here. Um, gifting. No, not that. Um, you can see I got a bunch of gifts. Gifting event. Here we go. <clears throat> so from December 20th to January 3rd, uh, there will be two gifting events added to the contest. Everyone, Basically, everyone's given a gifting badge, and there are certain gifts that you can gift people that... Um, give some pretty good prizes one of being which being is the greater gifting crystal which has the possibility to give you a four star king and as you know also from the calendar events from uh, these you get some of those as well the greater gifting crystals and you can get the four star king and you get three more here so my thoughts on the awakening gem if I can somehow get lucky and pull a king from any of these crystals I'm going to use the Awakening Gem on him rather than Star-Lord. Reason being, Star-Lord you can get from Premium Hero Crystals, 4-Star Crystals, Tech Crystal, um, anything like that. Whereas Kang, currently this is the only way you can get him in the game, I'm pretty sure. Um, until they unlo unleash, uh, release another way to get him. Um, but... I'm also doing a, a thing, I've made a deal with my alliance members, as well as I guess any of my people on my friends list, if you're watching this, or if any of you are watching and you want to add me, feel free to add me in game, you can see my name, Captain Baggy, is four E's, um, and what I told them is if any of them send me a greater gifting crystal, or the other one which is called the nostalgia crystal, I will gift them the same thing back. Um, you can see I've gone through quite a bit of my units. Now that wasn't all from just gifting stuff. A lot of that was also from a, I updated my masteries, which I'll get to in a second. But the nostalgia crystals and the greater gifting crystals. So get greater gifting. You can see right here it has a bunch of good rewards, um, including the obviously the top tier one is the four star king, and then the nostalgia one here. Um, any champion that's been released in 2016, you have a chance of getting. Which, there were some pretty good champions that I would like to get. So, yeah, I asked for some of those too. And they're a little bit cheaper if you want to do those ones than the greater gifting ones. I think the greater gifting are 300 and nostalgia are 150 units. So it is pretty pricey. It adds up. Um, and if a bunch of people actually start requesting them, I'll probably have to pop open some more battle chips to get some more units. So I can fulfill that deal that I'm making. <laughs> so, um, that's kind of where I'm standing right now. Why I haven't used the tech... Awakening gem on Star Lord is if I possibly get a Kang. I know it's rare, but I'd rather wait and see rather than use it on the Star Lord and then not have it to get use it on a Kang. Um, and well, who knows? Maybe I'll get two Kangs somehow and unlock Kang, and then I can still use it on Star Lord. Obviously, that's the 
ideal situation, but I can dream, can I? Who knows? <laughs> Um, but next thing I, I wanted to show you guys is kind of my quest progression. I've I mentioned a long time ago. I mean, I guess it hasn't been that long ago. Feels like it has though. But since I think it was back in one of my first episodes, or maybe even my first, that I've been working toward uh, completing Act Four. And as you can see, I uh, I've gotten pretty far. I think last time I uh, was only I was stuck on this one, the threats, and. Uh, it was giving me some trouble, but I finally was able to beat it. Uh, but while I was waiting to do that, I went back and went ahead, went ahead and 100% completed Chapter 2 because it, it gave me um, another, let's see, go down here, 2. I got a Tier 4 Catalyst and then another Mastery Point, which I really wanted. And then also an Ascendant Crystal, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, that, that took a long time. Uh, if those of you who have gone through Act 4, you know how hard it can be. Uh, a lot of these are pretty difficult. Um, I think it was that one, the third one, that was the hardest one. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, finally completed it. Took forever, but pretty proud of that. Now I'm working toward completing Chapter 3, which only got one left. And then we'll go on to Chapter 4, and who knows how long that's going to take. But that's where I'm at with the quest, guys. Um, I just felt like showing it. I was pretty proud to completing act chapter two i think i posted something on my twitter about it so if you guys don't follow me on twitter follow me at captain baggy uh three e's i think yeah it's three e's it's all confusing guys i'm sorry um i'll probably put it put it on the screen here um but yeah that's where that, i'm at with the quest another thing i wanted to mention guys is how i've been doing in the arenas because uh I saw it something I don't really like. I don't record videos of doing arenas. I just kind of do it in the background. As you can see, my battle chips right there are up to 268,000, which only about a week ago, I think, I spent 350,000, and that wiped out pretty much all of my units or my battle chips. Um, so in a little, about, little over a week, I think, I, I've built that back up to about two-thirds of what it was. So I went pretty fast. I've been doing really well in arenas. Um, I'm putting a picture up on, on right now that shows how well I did uh, in the last arena. I just crossed over the 3 million mark, just barely. Um, I didn't play like terribly much, but I did set a new record for my uh, win streak in the 4-star arena. Um, so that's pretty cool. Before I go any further, while I was editing this video, I got a message in-game from the arena letting me know that I got the one to five percent reward which means I got the four star basic champion which was Hawkeye. Um, wasn't a very sought out champion so I thought I had a good possibility of getting him with just three million which I think is lower than most cutoffs usually but nonetheless this is the first time I've ever placed in the one to five percent and gotten the basic champion so I was pretty excited when I saw this so I figured I had to include it with the video since I was just talking about my uh, arena stuff and everything so wanted to throw this in there guys um hopefully i can do this more often um i don't know if i can i might have just gotten lucky this time just because like i said it was probably a lower cutoff but either way i wanted to show it to you guys because i was pretty excited to it all right that's enough back to the rest of the video um what i'm planning on doing is i'll probably do a four star arena guide um so kind of how to get onto that infinite arena streak as it's called um i know there's tons of videos out there of people explaining how to do it but I figured I might as well do one as well. Why not? Because um, I'm sure everyone has a little bit different things that they do. Um, so, but yeah, you can see it's working out for me. I've got 172 wins um, on my account here, at the bottom. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing for the arena. So the last thing that I wanted to go over is my masteries. If you've been paying attention, you've noticed for a while I had some mastery points up here at the top. And now you see I don't have them. That is because I used them. And also, I mentioned earlier, I used up some of my units to improve my masteries. So the ones that I did was I got Glass Cannon to rank 1. And then I unlocked Despair to rank 1. And then Deep Wounds. So Deep Wounds is something that I've been wanting pretty much since it got introduced into the game a while back. Um, and I just wasn't at that point to where I could spend the units and everything. Um, but now I finally had the units. And enough to, to do it so i figured it was worth getting i have a good amount of bleed champions especially uh 
my favorite one, which I've mentioned. I did the review on it, Beast. If you haven't watched it yet, guys, go back and check it out. Um, but he's a really good bleed champion, and I use him for Alliance War. So I think having deep wounds now will make him even stronger. Um, and as well as for doing arenas and everything, I think some of these masteries are going to be really helpful in that area as well. Um, so I'm excited to... I haven't even played a battle with anyone since I've added these masteries to my account. So I, I, I don't know the difference yet. I've just seen the PI increase in the champions a little bit. So... That's cool. I'm really excited, though, to test that out. Hopefully, I can test that out later in this video with some of my Alliance members doing the uh, Alliance War. If I do hear back from one of them uh, in a little bit here to use the attacks, then I will cut right here in a second, Just and you will see the attacks now. Um, but if not, if you're still here, if you're still hearing my voice, and it hasn't changed the screens yet, that means I will. I did not get to the attacks today and I will be still recording them and posting them probably on the channel tomorrow or the next day. Um, also guys I just want to mention it is coming up on Christmas here so I'm probably gonna have some family things I need to do so I might not necessarily be able to record. I know I don't record daily anyways um, so I'm trying to do it as often as I can um, but hopefully uh, I have some stuff pre pre-recorded or something that I can still post over the next couple of days um, so I'll try to get that done for you guys but thanks for watching guys uh, leave a like uh, leave a comment if you have some fun something fun to say I don't know tell me your plans what you're doing for Christmas or whatever I don't know um, subscribe to the channel guys and keep looking keep keep an eye out for those videos I was mentioning before uh, the four star arena guide and uh, the alliance war attacks so thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you next time